The unbreakable choice. A man sits at a table with an ancient, weathered scroll in front of him. His hands shake as he slowly unrolls it. He's been searching for this for years, a document said to contain the secret of life's ultimate purpose. For centuries, people have searched for answers about their existence. Why am I here? Who am I meant to be? But the most unsettling question of all, can I lose the very thing that gives me life, my soul? The man studies the scroll, his eyes scanning the ancient text. Suddenly, his face grows pale, his heart pounds. What if I told you that the answer doesn't lie in your hands? That no matter how many decisions you make or how hard you strive, your future isn't ultimately determined by your strength or wisdom. He stumbles back from the table, terrified by what he's reading. The words seem alive, breathing truth into his soul. He's not the one in control. There's a mystery more powerful than human effort, more secure than the strongest will. A choice has been made, but not by you. The man's eyes widen as the scroll reveals the truth. Long before the foundations of the world were set, before you took your first breath, you were chosen. Not because of what you would do, but because of who God is. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 to 5 says, Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. The man's hands stop shaking. He's starting to understand. The weight of uncertainty lifts from his shoulders. He's realizing this was never about him. The idea that you can lose your salvation relies on a fragile belief that it's up to you to keep yourself in God's favor. But Romans chapter 8 verses 38 to 39 makes a promise that no power, not even death, can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. He looks back at the scroll and sees one final message inscribed. You were chosen, not for what you could offer, but for the love and grace of the one who called you. And he will keep you, forever. This isn't a game of chance, a fragile deal based on your efforts. It's a sovereign decision made by the God who keeps his promises. And when he chooses, nothing can undo it. The man's face now glows with peace. He rolls the scroll back up, and for the first time, he understands. What's the mystery? It's that God's grace and salvation is unbreakable. You were chosen, and nothing can snatch you from his hand. That's the beauty of being saved by grace. It's not on you to keep yourself. It's all on him.